everybody welcome back to this channel today I have decided to show you guys what I have just recently bought from the grocery store I have done one of these before and many of you actually really enjoyed it so I thought I would share with you guys again what we have bought for basically our week for food in our last grocery haul a lot of people were questioning me on how our food actually lasted a week with the amount of food that I bought and surprisingly it did last I do sit down and write what we're going to eat for the week for dinner for lunches and everything like that and obviously we do go out sometimes to eat lunch or eat dinner or breakfast so some of the times we obviously are saving food at home because we're buying food when we go out basically we just buy the bare essentials sometimes we buy some goodies like I have this week um, but normally we just buy the minimal things that we actually need to eat for the week so let's get into this. So I hope you all enjoy and I'll see you guys at the end. So this is our groceries for the week. Today we shopped at the spud shed. I don't normally shop at the spud shed, but lately I have been doing it because I've been saving a lot more money shopping at the spud shed than shopping at Coles or Woolworths. So let's get into what we bought today. So let's start in this corner. So obviously we do have a few naughty food here, but let's start with the tuna. So the first one we've got is just a 95 gram little tin of tuna. This is just little Frederick's mini one. He wanted to hold a tuna. So I let him hold this one and yeah, we just left it in the trolley. And then the other tuna that we got is just a 425 gram tuna tin. And these are both in spring water. I do like my tuna in spring water. It just obviously doesn't have oil and brine and all that in it. I just find spring water so more nice. And then we've got a really bad drink here. We've got my Brown's Chill and this is just the vanilla one. I know it's really bad for you. It's got a lot of sugar in it and everything. But I thought, hey, why not? Let's just put it in the fridge and I can have it one day this week. Another baddie I have got, I've got some Dairy Milk Mix Buttons. I've actually bought these for my cookies I'm going to make later for um, snacks during the week. So I put some chocolate in it sometimes for a little extra goodness so i just got a pack of these but i also got a pack of the caramel ones because i couldn't resist plus it was cheaper to get two rather than one so and here i've got a pumpkin i just got a butternut pumpkin then over here you can see i got some mint sauce i really like mint sauce especially on my peas and corn at night just gives it a little taste so i decided to grab some behind the buttons i have some singapore style noodles we actually had Singapore noodles I think yesterday at mother's group and I really enjoyed it so I want to recreate what they made yesterday at mother's group there is just some barbecue sauce here this is the fountains barbecue sauce this one is gluten-free which we are obviously gluten-free in the household so um, we get that one and I know guys some of this food isn't gluten free but Jason isn't here for the next fortnight so I don't have to fully buy gluten free this fortnight some bread which obviously isn't gluten free bread and I just got the cheapest bread because I honestly bread's bread to me yeah I've just got some eggs I went ahead and bought the large or oh no they're extra large extra large eggs and I think these were like two dollars shuffling over a little bit back here we've got some milk let me bring it to the front so I can show you guys so basically we get the browns milk or literally any milk that is high low milk me and jason drink high low milk and frederick has the full cream milk and then back here we've got the harvey fresh full cream milk for frederick so we just got two um one liter bottles for frederick for the week and in front of the milk we have some frozen peas a frozen corn packet and then right in front of the frozen vegetables is all my glorious fresh fruit and vegetables so right here i've got two big sweet potatoes seven bananas over here 
seven amazing bananas. Bananas were only $2.99 a kilo, I think. So good bargain for bananas. And then we've got a handful of carrots. I think I've got five carrots and I think they were 69 cents a kilo. So bargain. And then in front of the carrots, we've got two avocados. I just got a bag full of Brussels sprouts. And then lastly, over here, I just got some breakfast items. So I got uh, rolled oats. And then I got some little um, fantastic um, rice crackers. Frederick really enjoys snacking on these rice crackers. So we just went and got the cheddar flavor. And then a, another baddie, guys. Frederick decided he wanted these. I'm gonna blame Frederick for that. Um, but yeah, so we got these little, I, I'm guessing they're like Oreos, but they're mini creams. Um, but yeah, basically they all have 10 little individual packets in a packet. Um, so yeah, and I actually looked at the back and they're not too bad. Last things I got is just some meat. So I got some chicken breast so we can have some grilled chicken also so we can have chicken nuggets one night and also maybe some sweet and sour chicken because this breast here is actually really big. So I'll cut that in half for mine and Frederick's serving. This will probably have three servings in it for me and Frederick. I got their famous, well I think it's famous, um, mince. This is just the low fat beef mince is such a good pack for our family because I only use 250 grams in Mun and Frederick's meals. So this is like one, two, three, four, you know, five meals just in this pack. The other bad thing that I got, guys, I just went and got a processed pizza. This is probably the worst thing in the world I could have bought because processed pizza has so many bad things in it. But I really wanted to have a bad day today, like a cheat day today. So I went ahead and bought this really bad processed pizza. I'm going to put some extra pineapple on it and everything because I like my pizza to have extra pineapple on it. But I did get this processed pizza today for lunch. Basically, that is everything that I bought today at the grocery store. I'm just going to go get my receipt to show you guys how much I spent at Spudshed. So this is our receipt today from the amazing Spudshed. And this is everything that we bought. And right at the bottom, we have the total amount our amazing total amount of 77 dollars and 63 cents can you believe that i can't it's amazing spudget kills it again with their amazing prices so if you have a spudget in near you definitely go shop there because it's amazing how much money you can save if i bought this all in woolworth or coles it probably would have cost me about 120 130 dollars but anyway i'm going to get going so i can put on my pizza and enjoy the very bad processed things going into my body but i hope you all enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up also let me know what you thought of this video in any if I should do more of these videos. I'm going to get going and I'll see you all guys tomorrow. Bye.